Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. Hope everyone had a great weekend last weekend for Thanksgiving and you got all your shopping done. I know there was a, there was a lot of people out shopping. Um, so today we are going to be doing um, Erase the Ink, which is really cool. Um, I have actually never um, seen tattoo removal done, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um, and just like putting it on, taking it off is painful. So uh, I do want you to keep in mind our pain Patient. Michael is not numbed at all. You cannot be numbed for this procedure. Um, and so he's taking it like a champ. Um, we do use some sort of um, cooling factor to help with that pain. However, um, unfortunately, like I said before, putting it on hurts just as much as taking it off. Um, before we start, I do want to point out, um, so we do, we how we price our tattoo removal is by the size of it. Um, and some inks, so like your blacks, your yellows, your red, um, they can be harder to come off than others. So it depends on how many sessions you're going to need is depending on how well your body absorbs the ink. So Kristen's going to explain that, but I would want to point out that it does, um, we do usually at least a package of three. And that can range anywhere from 700 to 1500 depending on the size of your tattoo. Um, you do have to have a, quite a bit in between your sessions, so usually between six to eight weeks um, in between your laser sessions for your tattoo removal. Um, also, make sure you guys watch the whole film because I am going to do a giveaway at the end. So make sure you guys watch. Um, and again, this is Erase the Ink, and we're excited to show it. So here we go. All right, guys. Yes. Hey, Hi, Kristen. Kristen. How Welcome are you doing? Back. Good. How are you guys? Good. Are you excited about today? Um, yeah. I can't wait to get started. I love it. Today we have Michael, and he is so kind to have us treat his tattoo. He's had for eight years. Wow. Um, as you can see, it is fairly large and um, on around his shin. So this can be a really sensitive area. Um, the good thing is most of it is black ink. And we're using the Pico Sure laser, yep. oh, which um, is great at targeting uh, darker ink. Um, it can target all colors like red and yellow and orange and green, but it's a little bit harder for the laser to pick up the lighter colors. So those can take a few more treatments um, other than this. But we are actually going to split up his tattoo today and just do half just because it's such a large um, tattoo and it is gonna feel a little bit worse than how he got it in the first place um, I can't say how many treatments it will take but this Picosure laser is now FDA is the first and only FDA approved Pico second laser for tattoo removal and that's huge because this as opposed to the red light it's sister laser um, breaks up and it's going to fragment the ink into tiny little particles like as small as a sand. Um, so it's going to be easy for the body to remove um, the ink then that way as opposed to the red light where it would break it up into like tiny little pebbles um, so it would take longer for the body to, through its natural processes to get rid of the pigment or, or the ink here. Um, are you ready to get started? I am. Okay. So before we get started yes. Kristen, I mean it this laser is loud, you guys, so if you guys can't yeah, hear I'm us, I'm sorry if you can't hear. Um, please comment and let us know, and I'll tell Kristen to speak up a little bit as she's doing it. Um, is there any pre-instructions that Michael had to do, I'm sorry, or had to do prior to the tattoo? I just say um, if it's in an area where there's a lot of hair, just to shave prior. Um, we don't want anything to interfere with the laser um, energy just mm -hmm. going straight to its target. Um, if it were to hit the hair, it's not going to damage the, the hair follicle or anything. Okay. Um, it's a different wavelength. So, um, other than that, and just making sure, you know, he didn't have any contraindications, mm -hmm. um, no neurological diseases, um, you know, he's not tan, um, you know, no diabetes to where, you know, um, he could have a poor healing response. Um, so, someone asked, and I tried to answer this already, how far apart are the treatments? You generally, you want to wait 10 to 12 weeks apart um, with the rev light. I think that was like six to eight weeks apart, but the longer you wait, the better. Um, and especially if the tattoo is going to be on a lower extremity, like his is on a shin, um, 
it's going to take longer for the body to remove it because there's not as much circulation there um, as it would be if it was closer to your heart. And also, depending on the color of the ink, correct? Some yes. some inks do, uh, absorb better than others. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So black ink is the best at um, being eradicated first, most quickly. Um, yellow and green, um, those can be a little bit tricky, um, but this one will treat all colors. Um, another big question that I would always get is if it is going to help to get rid of cosmetic ink, so if you have like permanent makeup or something, um, but it doesn't. Um, I, we would recommend that it, it wouldn't do <laughs> Shana. <laughs> uh, what because about? of the metallic, um, <laughs> that could be in that. She's the laughing at me. Ink. I know. I can't. With my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it could turn black or dark brown, and yeah. So, what about skin color? Like, is is there like a certain like skin color or all skin color? All skin patch, all skin types. Um, yeah, that's the beauty of this. Um, just you can't be tan. Okay. But, Okay. Excited. Let's show it. All right. And then we'll we answer. Go. Put your questions below, and we'll answer afterwards because this laser is loud. So, ooh, we have lots of people joining. So this must be a good one. All right, okay. Michael, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go, you guys. Well, again, one second because now it's got to recalibrate. It's um, done here. Again, Laura is chilling him because he does not have any numbing on, and this will help, but it is painful. So, think about when you get that tattoo. Hurts us just as much. Okay, here we go. Right here. Wow. 
so it's almost like coloring. You can yeah. see where I didn't go and wherever I still see that very dense, dark pigment, I'm gonna go over. Like I can see I missed some, a little spot like right here mm -hmm. and right on the outer edge here. Oh, someone says your nails look great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Did, um... <laughs> so you see? Yeah. And I'll explain the cost at the end, right? So I'll recap what Kristen has said. Now, everybody's loving your nail color. What about mine, guys? <laughs> Look at my nail color. What color is that? It's like a purplish one. Aww. I needed to do a neutral. Neutral. <laughs> and then I'll do red for Christmas. Red for Christmas. So someone wants to know a tattoo with this big, will you do the like the full setting? The full setting. Like, like the whole one? tattoo. Like in one set one sitting. Sorry. As if now that I see his and, yeah, and he is okay. Let's say it's a tattoo that is around the full circumference, so all the way around. Um, that we wouldn't be able to do just because of a circulation issue then. Even if it's like around the arm, um, it's just recommended not to do any circumference in, the, in one treatment. Mm -hmm. So we would have to split that up one day and then six weeks later would be the, the second part. But with this just being a larger area, and I was just gonna split it up today, but if he's doing okay and and says all right, then I would say we can go for it. Can we just do maybe a little bit of the red? Because yeah. I just want to see the. I want to show everyone the difference in the colors. Sure. So chill him good. Good for that. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So you can just see here, it's not as pronounced, you know, as that, but still there's a difference. And because it's red, will it take, uh, do you think it'll take longer to come off than the black? Yes, because the laser is harder, it's harder for the laser to see. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, even though it's light and you think it's more surface, um, you know, the older the tattoo, kind of the, the more it sets into the skin. If it's a fresher tattoo, it's easier to um, clear. Break up. Wow. This is so awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see you back in 10 to 12 weeks. So, um, I'm going to, Michelle commented again because I want to explain. Um, yes, you can do it in one city as long as it's not um, like around the arm, like a circumference. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's also based on your pain tolerance. So, yeah. Michael is doing fantastic. So, he's like, keep going, keep going. But for some, it might be that they have a, a not as high pain tolerance and they might only be able to do it in sessions. And if they do, then you have to do them six weeks apart. And we can do um, any size tattoo, pretty much. Um, yes, pretty much. So if yeah. it's like a size of an eight by ten, like a full like size a full piece sheet. of paper, you know that probably would. I probably want to break that one up. Yeah, this and is then, probably a five by seven. Five by seven. Um, and then um, one of my questions. I forgot about it. it was a good Downtime. One. Yes. Okay. Um, so you're really. Warm after treatment today. Um, over the next few days, up to a couple weeks, you're most likely going to blister, and that is okay. Um, so you're not going to want to do anything to inhibit or to um, slow that process of healing. Because blistering is, is healing. Working deep within the skin to, um, to do its job, but making sure you're not going to go into any chlorine. Um, you know, don't use any scrubs, nothing abrasive. Wearing jeans can and may be a little irritating um, just right after treatment and for the next few days if he does start blistering up. Um, but really, other than that, I would say 24 to 48 hours is when you're, you're really going to want to be 
watching it, but you know, for a couple weeks um, is when you're gonna have to take care of it and keep an ointment on it and keep it clean with a mild soap um, and no shaving over it. No shaving. Um, now, can you do this on any part of the body? Like that, that would be my other question. Yeah, um, I really haven't had an area of concern. Um, like even like under the eyes it. maybe? Well, okay, good point. I have done like teardrops before and um, close to the eye, but you've got to be so careful. I would not do eyelids. Um, that's something Dr. Downs would or lips. want to do. Lips, oh, that's a different story. <laughs> we'll probably need Dr. Downs for that one. <laughs> um, we need your help, Dr. Downs. <laughs> um, just because the lips are so vascular um, and they have a lot of nerve endings mm -hmm. there. Um, but yeah, I don't think, you know, if it's a cosmetic. So like backs, arms, legs, yeah. that's all fair game. Yep, necks. I'm doing Next. a neck today. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. That might be painful. Yeah. Yeah, there's really no area. So that that's it. Do, Pretty so. much you got all that, most of it. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that, you guys. How awesome is that? And this took like, this would normally be like a an hour session, if that. So it's so quick. And um, face. Yes, you can do the face, except for you have to be careful around the eyes. Correct? Yes. Yes. So face, yes, but careful around the eyes. Yeah, like yeah. teardrops she can do. What about like foreheads? Yeah, foreheads, okay. Yeah, so how awesome is this, you guys? Thanks, Michael, you feel good? Fantastic. Woo! All right, guys, so um, let me step outside so Kristen can finish her treatment. She's gonna just go ahead and bandage him up and um, just again, here's a close up. How great is that? All right, so to recap what just happened how awesome was that okay so we just did tattoo removal we explained that um, most of the time we can do it in one session except for if you have a circumference around um, your arm or around your leg has to be in two treatments um, but most of the time we can do it in one as long as your pain tolerance so that is something that to consider um, we can always do a test spot and see how you guys do no nummy no we have to use a cooler chiller it does help but it's still painful you guys I'm sorry um, we do at the center PC offer the latest and the greatest technology that is FDA approved because sure that we have um, nobody else in the area ha has this so we're the only one that's something that Dr. Downs and Dr. Viscardi um, pride themselves in is having the latest and greatest um, technology for their patients. Um, Cost-wise, so that is depending on the size of your tattoo. We like to start you off with around three, um, three sessions a package just to see how your body takes the tattoo. Again, this is um, the what she does is with the laser, it comes down into the dermis, the skin, and then your own lymphatic system takes the ink and it, so it absorbs the ink. So you just saw it there. Um, some colors do um, take more than others, so keep that in consideration. Price-wise, um, okay. So if you would have a, this is 25% off, we're gonna offer this until the end of next week. So 25% off, both um, Kristen and Kat can both do this procedure. Um, if you have a stamp size, it's $787. This is 25% off, you guys, for a package of three. So stamp size is $787. A two by third is $1,021. A four by six, $1,025.7. Um, five by seven is uh, 1462. So that was like a five by seven right there that you saw. So it'd be about um, around $1,400 for three sessions three sessions and again Michael might need more um, so by then we'll have to reevaluate where he's at and then an 8 by 10 which is usually like a size of a sheet of a paper um, is around 1700 so that's 25% off until next Friday I believe that's is that the four is that like the, the eighth ninth that's a week from now so I'm guessing you guys. Um, so that's something. So if you want tattoo removal, 25% off till next Friday. Um, thanks to Michael for um, helping us out there. Um, post care, again, she explained that a little bit. Just you can't shave over it. You got to be careful. It might blister up. She's putting some Aquaphor over him right now and wrapping him up. Keep it bandaged. Um, 
nothing too much and then we'll see him again in 10 to 12 weeks so again 10 to 12 weeks in between the sessions for him and um, pre-care you just have to shave so not that hard um, you come in have it done over your lunch time not a big deal um, I do have a giveaway so this is really cool so I partnered with um, the twisted string not sure if you guys know where they're at. They're at the UP Mall, and it is Christmas time, so we want to um, give away a $50 gift card. So if you share, like, or comment um, on our on our um, post right here, this post, um, you will get entered to win a $50 gift card from Twisted String. So thank you, Twisted String. You guys need to go check them out at the UP Mall. They have some really cute stuff, some clothes, some Notre Dame gear I saw in there, some jewelry. So they're great for um, little the gifts or for yourself or from Santa you never know um, so like them on Facebook as well um, $50 gift card giveaway it has to be liked shared comment whatever you want to do um, Monday at noon I will draw that and I hope you guys have a good um, weekend I also um, will not be here next Friday I have to go to training in Texas with Dr. Downs so we won't be live however I am putting up a video at noon on Friday it's gonna be really awesome so check that out with Tony um, and I hope you guys have a good weekend make sure you like comment share bye guys